welcome back to devices setup channel again and today we will learn how to update firmware version of ex7700 ac2200 nighthawk x6 tri-band wi-fi range extender guys it is always recommended to keep your devices firmware up to date also most extenders will show you the option to update its firmware once you login into its web user interface now in order to update any netgear extenders firmware you first need to login into your extenders web page for this first make sure your extender is plugged into the wall and it should be all set up and working also your laptop or computer should be connected to the extenders network name once connected open a browser on the very same device and in the url type my wi-fi ext.net or use my wi-fi ext.local or try 192.168.1.250 and hit enter this should bring netgear ex7700 login page where you simply just need to type your username and password to login into it if my wi-fi ext is not working for you then you need to login into extenders web page using its IP address. Watch our video on how to login into any Wi-Fi extender using its IP address. The link is given in the description. Now once you are logged into the extender, click on the menu option and then go to settings and then to firmware update. There you will see two options. First is to check online and second is to browse and upload. So if you click on check online, it will automatically check for latest firmware version if available and then will ask for your permission to update it or not. If you click on yes, then it will automatically update it for you. And the second option is to browse. So basically in this one, you first need to download the firmware from Netgear's official website that is downloadcenter.netgear.com the link is provided in the description. On the website, you need to type your device's model number and on the right hand side, you will see firmware slash software and the top one is the latest one. Click on it to download it. Once downloaded, you will have to extract the files on your local system. Now go back to your extender's web page and click on the browse option. Next, select the file from your local system that you extracted the firmware file and with .img extension. Do kindly note that during the time the extender is updating its firmware, do not turn off the system or the extender. Moreover, do not try to go online too until its firmware update is completely finished. So the firmware update takes couple of minutes and after that the extender restarts again. Now. You will be able to connect your phones, laptops, TVs to the extender network again. Just in case the firmware is corrupt and your extender is not working after firmware update, then we recommend you to reset your EX7700 extender and then try the setup again. We have already made videos on how to reset EX7700 and how to set it up too. The link is provided in the description. Also, one very important thing to note down is that when you try EX7700 extender setup, make sure you don't end up on third party websites who might scam you for hundreds of dollars and might also steal your data. We have made a complete video on how to save yourself from this Netgear extender scam. The link is provided in the description. Moreover, if any certain firmware version is causing an issue into your extender, then we recommend you to downgrade the firmware by downloading it from downloadcenter.netgear.com and uploading it on your extender's firmware page. Also, we do provide independent support for different gadgets like printers, routers, smart TVs, Roku, Alexa, extenders, etc. So if you need any technical help with any home appliance, then you can get in touch with our technician on our official website devicessetup.com the link is provided in the description and if the video was useful please don't forget to like and subscribe to support my channel so see you guys in the next video 
Until then, have a blessed day.